hello happy thursday i hope wherever you are that you and your loved ones are safe and well that you're having a good week and a good day this is the third time i'm trying to film this video let's see if we can get through it um what's happening i i don't even know where to begin i'm i walked this week <laughs> i'm not even gonna stop it because i'm too tired to start it again i did a lot of walking this week so far um, a few miles, I think, each day, and uh, I did turn around yesterday. I had planned to go further, but I realized I just couldn't do it, and so I, I met my goal. I went where I wanted to go. Um, like, I have a landmark that I try to get to, and I was going to go to another one of my hot spots, but then I was like, you know what? It's a lot of downhill, and I didn't want to come back up the hill, and so I thought, you know what? No, let's just not, and so I didn't. Um, but I still walked and my right foot, the hallux rigidus bone is really being annoying at the moment and very painful. And uh, it's like, it's reminding me, hi, I'm still here and I'm still a jerk. So I have to go see my podiatrist soonish. I have to call him and let him know because now I'm having to let every doctor that's ever examined me know, hey, I had a stroke. Um, and then they're all like, oh, you know what? Let's draw labs and do tests and stuff. And uh, so that's lots of fun. But next week I see the stroke specialist, which I am looking forward to because I'm hoping that he can give me some information and guidance on trying to figure out why this happened. Um, maybe he can't, maybe he won't, I don't know. Maybe there's no why, maybe I'll never know, but I at least have to ask the question. Um, and then probably the week after that is the test I really don't wanna do, uh, the transesophageal echocardiogram but I know they have to do that to get the measurements of the hole in my heart and see if it's really a problem um, if it's gotten bigger if it's whatever anyway I talked about that in the past um, we don't have to revisit it until we have to revisit it uh, what else is happening I don't know if I already said this in this video I got through telling my husband that I wasn't as tired as I have been and then today we got back from doing the laundry and I sat down and literally fell asleep where I was sitting in the dark because <laughs> when I had fallen asleep the light it was still light outside and um, so I woke up I was like why am I still sitting why am I sitting on the floor number one but like what what's happening and then I realized oh wait you sat down and just fell asleep um, so granted it was a more physical day we were doing stuff but I, I guess I'm less tired than I was in the beginning like that it's a different kind of tired. I can't even explain it because I've lived with tiredness for 20 years, um, you know, between being a parent and not sleeping and all the medical stuff. But stroke tiredness was like, oh, you don't know tiredness, Becky, until you've felt the way I can make you feel. So it's it's just been exhausting. But, you know, it's it's been a little bit better this week. I'm still tired, but it's a different kind of tired. It's hard to explain. Um, but yeah, I know I, uh, this probably is like the worst video. I'm not really making a lot of sense. I'm tired, but also if you've messaged me on social media and I haven't answered you, um, it is because I cannot stay on my phone for long periods of time like this. I'm filming, so I'm not looking at flashing ads and scrolling through stuff. Um, but I can't be on my phone or my iPad for a long period of time because I, I just, can't I just can't read that long and flashing colors and scrolling and all that I can't I can't do it for long periods my eyes can't take it and in, in fact I love the Olympics I we enjoy summer and winter Olympics ice skating I love snowboarding and skiing I love I have barely watched it because the contrast in the ice color and the snow it's like the other night I was sitting there with my sunglasses on and a baseball cap uh, uh, yeah, and baseball cap, and then just because I couldn't, I had a beginnings of a migraine, but also I couldn't take the brightness of everything. It was just like, please stop. And every ad has a flashing something, or the colors are ridiculously bright, and it's just like, do you know what people are going through? And it's like ads for medication, and it's like, could you think about the people that have had a, you know, a brain issue, like, and not make everything so bright and flashing, and hi, hi, we're here, but anyway. <laughs> So that's my my soapbox oh I have one more soapbox if you live in the city any city I don't care where it is and if you hear an ambulance coming 
if you're in a car, slow down. If you come to an intersection, slow down and make sure it's not going through. You know, needs to get through where you are. If you're walking, do not try to outrun the ambulance through an intersection because that's idiotic. Yesterday, I, in my walk, I witnessed an FDNY ambulance having to take five minutes, because I was walking and I, you know, was not as fast as I would have liked to have been, but I basically got to the corner before the ambulance did, and they were only trying to get to the next block, and because I saw them stop and, and get out and go into a building, but I thought that five minutes could have been the difference between saving somebody's life or getting somebody the treatment that they needed. And it made me so mad because an FDNY ambulance came to get me the day that I had my stroke. And time was of the essence for me. Um, it was like time down. When did you think she had the stroke? We thought it was 3.30, so they had to time when they could give me the TPA. Um, so don't mess around with that. You. You know, I know we all have places to be and, and people to see and all that, and we got to get home and get to work and all that, but don't try to outrun. If you hear a siren, please, please, please slow down and stop, pull over. Don't be ridiculous because it could be somebody you love on that gurney in the back um, or yourself. So it's time is critical and that's five minutes that they could have been around that corner assessing the patient and seeing what the way they needed to do and it just made me so angry because I thought man I don't know if anybody got in our way on the way but everything was down timed down to the minute of when they thought I had the stroke and when they could give me the medication and if they still could give me the medicine and that's why I got my left side back so I'm asking everybody to be good citizens and you know, be mindful of sirens and fire engines and, you know, whatever. If, they're, if their sirens are going, it's because they have to be somewhere. And if an ambulance is coming, then that's somebody's life that you're slowing down, you know, the care for. So that sounded like all mixed up. That was like a Yoda sentence. You're slowing down. Anyway, I'm not even going to correct that. You know what I mean. So please be mindful. Let's all be good citizens and not try to be heroes and run across the street before an ambulance can get through. It's like, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, we don't need to be anywhere faster than someone's life needs to be saved. Okay? If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying. I'll leave it there. I'm rambling now and I'm tired. I'm going to go sit down. Um, I'm sitting down now, but I'm going to go sit down somewhere else. I'm just going to move chair to chair until I go to bed. I hope wherever you are that you have a low pain, no pain, low aggravation, no aggravation kind of a day, kind of a week, and kind of a weekend. That is what we hope for. That is what we deserve. And that is what I wish for each of you. I will see you tomorrow via the blog next week for another video. Take care and be well.